Hej. Hej. Det er jo til at make noget 3D print video. And um, I just ordered some color fab filaments and it should be some of the best on the market. So um, I haven't tested anything, so it's a live test and uh, unboxing and everything in one. And um, I decided to try wood fill. With a nice little label on, it didn't glare. Um, and it's made in the Netherlands. And here in Europe we can order it directly from Colorfab. I think in USA it's printed solid. Have this and one layer of plastic and the box and again a layer of plastic. Nice packing, nice spools. No cracking, nothing for shipping. Business card, also nice. The wood fill is A coarse filament. Uh, it is 20% wood fibers, I think. And I will feed it into the printer and we'll make a little test print. As you see, I move the print to the flash balls this time. I couldn't feed the filament through my homemade metal extruder. The bumps on the wood filament is too big, so they actually won't go through a 2mm hole. Not one I expected, but uh, that's what it is. I use a little Elmer's washable school glue purple and it's the best I found I tested different types this one and another one and they are not nearly as good as this And it's <coughs> glued directly on the glass. I know it looks like Captain Tape, but there's Captain Tape on the aluminum plate under the glass. It is bare glass. Now we will just heat up. The temperatures used is 210 degrees on the print head and 60 degrees on the bed or platform. This data is available on Colorfab's homepage and for all the other filaments too.
As you see the prints come out with a little strings but you can take them out just with a finger and the filament actually is very easy to get printing much more easy than I hoped It's the first setting. I tried out the 210 degrees and 70 degrees on the bed and it 
just worked. I couldn't get it through the extruder, but uh, on the rush dock, but um, I think my tolerance is maybe a little tight, so I can drill the filament hole a little up, and hopefully it will print quite as nice as this one. Now let's put the lid on. three finished pieces you have to glue a little spacer or locating square on I just use CA glue you could use epoxy or maybe even a dab of wood glue I'll try see if we can focus there's a little structure like it if it was wood of course there is wood fibers in it but it actually looks pretty good I'll try to put the lid on the box here and this is of course finished from the printer not touched you can see the little stringy things I'll try to hold it up here and you can see how easy they fall off and I just use a knife and I just scratch them and they will fall off. It's a little imperfection there. It's not a hole but a dark spot. Or maybe this is a hole. No. Nope. It's a dark spot. Maybe some burnt filament from the extruder. But it, the structure is wood like and you can see under the bottom I pried it off too early let it cool a little and it goes better I'll get the glue and put this one on I'll just make and what I have is super glue with some activator Just hold it. Put it in. Then you can. Maybe I should show it in the frame. You can grind it with sandpaper, just like wood. 
it is of course some kind of polymer with wood fibers in it but it have to zoom out a little to hold it in the frame And this is Colorfab wood film first test. And I, I like it. 